Katrina Walzer from Olive One Camp, and this is video two in a three-part series on how to knit cables. If you haven't knit cables before and you're new to the whole thing, I would recommend going back and watching video one because things will make a lot more sense to you. But if you're already familiar with very basic cables, which are the type that are just knit stitches, crossed over knit stitches, and you want to move on to something a little bit more advanced, then stick around and watch this video. Uh, it'll be a lot more interesting because you've already covered the basics in the first video. So I hope you enjoy. So just as a refresher last video, we were working on cables that worked across knit stitches. So just knit stitches crossing over each other. Uh, and you end up with something like this with a column of stitches um, that's knits on a background of pearls here in the middle. Um, and you can do some interesting things with those actually. So for example, this here is just a really wide column of knits. Um, here are the pearls in the middle. Um, but this is a really wide column of knit stitches that just has a bunch of left and right leaning cables in a particular pattern running up the sides here. But where I think cables really start to shine is in more intricate patterns like this here in the middle. Um, so this is very complicated, I will say. Uh, so don't worry too much if it's a bit daunting looking, you can work your way up slowly to it. But what I wanted to show you with this is that um, where we were talking before about it being columns of knits on a background of pearls, what you can start doing is start moving those columns so this is basically one knit column and this is another knit column. But as you can see, they're moving across the pearl background. They're not just moving straight up with twists inside of the individual columns. The whole column itself is moving across the work. And then there are some places like here where it you get back to just that individual column where they're just crossing over each other. Um, so this is what I want to show you in the second video is how to start moving those columns across the background. And the way you do that is that instead of crossing knit stitches over knit stitches, you start to cross parts of the knit columns over the pearl background. So I will show you how to do that. So this is the swatch that we were working with in the last video. And now what we're gonna do is instead of just doing cables within the two knitted columns, we're going to start doing the cables um, with the knitted columns moving over the background. So I don't want you to worry too much about how exactly we're going to do that and which stitches work over which parts, because when you start out with cabling, I'd strongly suggest you follow a pattern and the pattern that you're using will tell you um, when and where to actually do those cables. I just want to show you the method of doing them. So when you start getting into the columns moving over the background, uh, you can actually start crossing different numbers of stitches over each other. So in the previous one, with the basic cables where I was showing you, you always use half of the number of stitches in your column to do the cable. But when you start moving cable stitches over the background, the number of stitches from your column you start crossing over and the number of background stitches you actually cross over change a lot. So you could have two knit stitches moving over one pearl stitch. You could have three knit stitches moving over two pearl stitches. Um, again, just let your pattern tell you how many of the different parts of the uh, needle and knitting you're actually using. But in this particular case, we're doing cables with two knit stitches and two pearl stitches. So the way you do that, it's actually exactly the same as we were doing before. So this cable is going to be leaning to the right. So I'm going to take my cable needle and slip these first two pearl stitches onto it. Hold it in the back. And knit the next two stitches from my left needle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two stitches that I was holding and this time I'm going to purl them because they were purl stitches before. And this way I've now moved my two knit stitches and bent them towards the right over the background. 
The next part of my pattern calls for me to bend these two knit stitches over to the left over the pearl pack background. So it's just a left leaning cable like we did last time. Take my cable needle and slip the first two stitches onto it. And this time we're holding it to the front. And I'm going to purl these next two stitches. And I'm going to take those two knit stitches that I was holding on this cable needle and knit them. So that's how you start moving your knit stitches over the pearl background. Um, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the second column. So I will show you that once more. So I take my cable needle and I hold the first two stitches on it and I want to do a right leaning cable so I'm holding these to the back and I'm going to knit these two stitches and then I take the two stitches I was holding and purl them. So whatever they were in the previous row, you want them to be that again. So if you knit them in the previous row, then they need to be knit. And if you purl them in the previous row, you need them to be purled. So this time we're going to do one more cable and we're leaning these two stitches to the left. So I take my cable needle and hold them here. And I'm going to hold them to the front this time. And then because these are pearl stitches, I pearl the next two. And then grab the two stitches that were on my cable needle and I knit them. And then the last two stitches are just background. So I'm just going to do the wrong side so you can see what those look like a little bit better. But um, as you can see, the technique is exactly the same. You do the same thing with knitting, oh sorry, with holding the stitches on to the cable needle. Um, and then hold them in the front or the back, depending on whether you want the cable to lean to the left or the right. And the only difference is that you knit the stitches that were knit on the previous row and you purl the stitches that were purled on the, on the previous row. But again, just follow your pattern. It will tell you exactly how many of the different types of stitches to be holding and to be knitting and to be purling. Um, and that way you will get a nice looking cable. So when you're done with the wrong side row, this is what it looks like. So where we had just those two columns running up the work before, now they're starting to branch out. Um, so you can see these knit columns moving to the left and the right, and these background stitches that used to be on the outside are now here in the middle. And that is how you do cables with knits and pearls.